good evening welcome back to another video hello everybody god bless you and today is september 18th 2022 the time now is 6 58 p.m here evening time here in the beauty room so hello you all today is sunday so happy sunday to you all hope you had a great day today enjoyed yourself enjoyed family time just or just spending time with your loved ones with your significant other or your partner and yes i just got off work about a good hour ago so i wanted to take an hour to myself and just to enjoy my fiance and i eating dinner together and that's just what, mostly what we did and right now we are watching um king of the hill uh, i think that's on hulu yeah, yeah it's on hulu so if you have xfinity cable um yes check that show out it's uh, it's really for adults it's really not for kids but yes we do watch our favorite tv shows are family guy on hulu um and king of the hill and it's called i think it's archer i don't know if archer's uh, i don't know if archer animated show is on hulu or uh, what's the other one i can't th i think it's fox or fox something like that i'm really not sure but definitely check out those shows those shows are for adults not you kids no 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 I do not recommend for your kids to watch that and try to sneak and watch that show while your mom and dad is asleep on a weekday. You know, if you're asleep and you know you have to go to school, go to bed. You have to be up early, quiet in the morning. So let's get started into the um <clears throat> in today's video. It's all about I know I'm definitely super late on this, but this is about the Maybelline New York up to 30 hours foundation in number 355 in Coco. This is what it is. This is the new one. And then this is the concealer. It is in, it's just a concealer corrector. It's in, let's see, the shade 50. So it's the active, I'm going to say the active wear with the new foundation from Maybelline. I know I'm like six months late, but I finally got it about a couple months ago from Walmart, but I had it delivered um, here to our home. So we're going to try it out and see how and test it out, see how it is, give it a review, give you my final thoughts and opinion um, about it after and before I end the video. So make sure you grab yourself a delicious snack, something to drink of your choice. Take notes if you want, see if you can find this foundation and the concealer online at your local Walmart. Get it delivered with other groceries that you have to shop for, you know, for from Walmart. And yes, definitely try to check out Target. I'm really not for sure, but that's a question mark. But te definitely for sure, check out your local Walmart. We're going to get started. And yes, so if you subscribe, welcome to another video. But if you're a new subscriber or just stopping by, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video, my channel. Because when you do and support, help me, when you support and help me, it definitely helps out YouTube here on the channel of the video. So let's keep on liking these these videos. And definitely make sure you tell your family and friends here on YouTube. It's a channel called The Beauty Room. And my channel is all about makeup tutorials. And how to apply the makeup. Where to get the makeup at. Which affordable stores and online. Which is my favorite websites. And what's affordable for your wallet and your, your coins and your dollars from your wallet that is all my channel is all about is makeup and also it's about clothing hauls as well so let's get started into the video but if you subscribe welcome to the beauty room god bless you you're part of a wonderful family so welcome to the beauty room fam and thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and thank you for turning on your notification bell so you will never ever miss an upload from the beauty room and that is new videos and future videos so let's get started so i already cleaned my face got myself together before i filmed a video and i just did my eyebrows and um yeah so i'm gonna get started and what i usually take is a beauty sponge or i'll take my foundation brush so i'll do one side with the beauty blender and i'll do one side with the brush so i can see which will work the best for me so if you want to do that make sure you have your makeup brushes with um with you if you want we can put on some makeup together just foundation or if you want to just 
sit back and watch this video that's fine also as well and take notes and grab yourself a delicious snack and whatever drink of your choice is that you drink let's get started so one side will be with the with the beauty blender and the other side will be with the foundation brush so i already tested it out on my hand at one point when i first first got it to see how it will look on my skin but i just tested it out on my hand and so far this looks pretty good so far not bad at all and what i'm doing is i'm just blending it in with my beauty blender that i get that i'm getting that i've gotten from shein i did a few orders last year with shein some beauty stuff which i need to do some more so which i will you know just when things get a little better for me and i just want to say thank you all so much for watching a small growing youtuber like myself just continue to like these videos give them a thumbs up and comment on them as well so that way i could continue to stay on youtube which i will no matter what and yes and definitely um connect with me or follow me on ig instagram at martindale lowercase m you know the whole name martindale 5451 and so far it looks pretty good with using the uh, with the beauty blender and I'm just tapping it now. I just smooth it out just like this. And it looks good. So far, it don't look too bad. And cover the ears. And you always want to match your foundation with your ears. Your neck. Like right here. So. So, what do you all think with the Beauty Blender side? So, this is just the Beauty Blender. Looks good. Don't look bad at all. So, now we're going to try it with the foundation brush. Get that out there. And every time when I'm done with the video, I definitely make sure my uh, makeup brushes are definitely clean for sure okay let's try it with a brush let's see what the brush does And then you always want to make sure that you have a mirror with you as well. So you can definitely um, make sure it's right. And that's before, you know, you go out in the public. You know, you want to make sure yourself is looking good. Smelling good. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the concealer. What do you think on both sides? This is the beauty blender side and this is the foundation side with the brush. What do you think? Comment down below which one you like the best. I'll let you look one more time.
which side you think looks the best i like the beauty the beauty blender side the best because it looks like it gives its natural type as well because it looks like it's really seamed in really good let me get a little closer you can see it like it's got really all my spots that i wanted to get and i haven't applied the concealer yet so it looks really good and with the foundation, the like it needs to cover just a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the concealer. Okay, so again, I'm going to use the beauty blender and then I'm going to use the, well, I'm going to use the beauty blender on both sides because with the foundation brush, you know, that's just only for the foundation. And then I do have the L'Oreal Paris um, setting powder. I'm going to use that. And then what you can do for this side, you can definitely use it for when you contour, you know, to get your face, you know, finished and complete, you know, before you apply like your, your eyeshadow. Or you can do your eyebrows first and then do your eyeshadow and then your lash and then do your foundation. But I'm just showing you the foundation of how it looks so far. And this is just how I normally do uh, apply my foundation. I definitely would definitely use a beauty blender and a foundation uh, makeup brush but I go back and forth it depends on how I feel and I how I feel if I want to you know get it done and hurried up you know for my makeup you know look so make sure I got every Thing onto my forehead and yeah okay so take my mirror one more time this is just how I really make sure that it's looking to me and it's looking pretty good with the concealer Get a little closer you can see the concealer and this looks really really good it goes with my skin I, I picked it out somehow some way I was just in disbelief disbelief because of like okay I'm not gonna get the right shade it's not gonna look right on me you know it's gonna look too light you know for my skin tone and it does not look bad at all it looks very natural and this foundation I want to say it gives you medium to full coverage you may have to apply a couple of co coats of the foundation whatever you 
have found for your skin tone. But yes, I am done. Give me one more look and shot. See how it looks to you. I'm going to spray with my Maybelline um, Lasting Fixing Setting Spray. I just got my hair in a halfway bun. That's why I had it today at work. So I, I just left it like this because I know I was going to go home and do a video. But yes. That is the end of the video, but not quite yet. My opinions and, well, my opinion and my thought on this foundation um, try it for yourself um, before you buy it. You can try to see if also Beauty Store has it. I'm really not for sure, but definitely check online first before you get it. Or you can go in the Ulta Beauty, Beauty Store, excuse me. You can go into Ulta Beauty Store and definitely do a test, like a, 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 a test run before you get it. So you can make sure you match it up with your skin. And if they don't have it in display for testing, definitely pick up the foundation and just do it like this with, your, with the product to your hand. Do it like this if you want. Or you can like touch it up to your face, you know, not not close to your face, because some, you know, people didn't touch, you know, touch the the beauty products at, you know, also beauty store. So you want to make sure that you're safe and be careful. And you can definitely wear like a clear latex-free glove if you want, excuse me, just to pick up the product. So that way, you know, because COVID is still here, you know, and you don't want to get sick. You know, you want to keep yourself and your family well saved and protected which i completely understand because when i have days off you know for my job i make sure i have me a few pairs of latex free gloves in a clear ziploc bag for me and a couple of brand new masks to steal in the plastic you know that comes in individual by themselves or i'll make my own plastic bag you know with the ziploc put it in there into like a sandwich bag that's what i do for come for me in case you know Hamilton may not have a mask or whatever and he lost his mask or something like that you know and I have an extra one you know extra gloves you know just to keep us protected from other people it's not to be you know oh I'm uh, you know I'm staying away from you because you know you may have COVID it's not like that because we're not like that like that type of people but I had got COVID last year and I got extremely extremely sick so I'm trying to keep myself protected away from Hamilton so he won't get caught with what I had because that was no joke but um anyway but definitely make sure you definitely try this these two products together I really like it this is my second time really applying it onto my face I really do like this foundation this is the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear concealer in number 50 and the foundation that i am in is a 355 coconut if you're in my shade this will be definitely good for you if you're chocolate like me or darker than me um i don't know if they have darker shades but you can also definitely check on i don't know if they have the website of www.maybellenewyork.cosmetics.com check it out you know also as well and yes i really like the foundation it went on very good smoothly it didn't go on like cakey type of products i do like it i do highly recommend that you get the foundation and the concealer whichever concealer that matches your skin tone or you can go with a concealer that's a little lighter than than you you know it's totally fine whichever one you prefer to do but for me i just matched it up with the foundation because um you know that's just how I do my my makeup foundation. You know, applying onto my face, I like it like that. Sometimes I do mix it up, or if I have it just the concealer in my shade, like in the foundation shade, I try to see what concealers I have to match the foundation. So definitely, yes, make sure you definitely get the foundation. I believe the foundation for total price is retail price. Excuse me, is I want to say under twenty dollars for the foundation and then the concealer 
it's under $15 also as well. So yes, definitely make sure you get the concealer and foundation. So I will list it in the uh, description box below. So you can go onto the website or go to also a beauty store, see if you can find it there or check with your local Walmart or Target with those you know retail stores as well. And definitely enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening and happy Sunday to you all. God bless you. And I just want to say, and if you just subscribed now, welcome to the beauty room. You're part of a wonderful, wonderful family. Thank you so much for just supporting or just stopping by and watching a small growing YouTuber like myself. Keep on liking my videos and keep on commenting and just stopping by. So that way with me in the YouTube, with my channel and YouTube, I can continue to grow on YouTube. God bless you all and have a safe and wonderful week. I'll see you all in the next video. As I always say, stay safe, stay encouraged, and dream big. God bless you all and stay safe out there. Have a blessed and wonderful week. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.